Okay, in this video, I want to go through a couple of uh, soldering techniques that you'll need for your next project, along with the use of the helping hands. Okay, here's my helping hands in front of me. I have a very hot soldering iron. You have to be very careful with that. My sponge, looks like it's got a little good amount of water on it, but you just give it a nice little squirt. It should be wet, not, not too soaked. Um, again, the sponge is used to clean your tip. And that's a pretty clean fit. So I'm just starting off with a new new iron. So that's not an issue right now. So um, I want to solder a couple of wires together. And I'm going to use wire cutters. Uh, there's a part down here for cutting wire. And different sizes uh, for cutting the insulation off. So it's a 10 gauge wire, which is pretty thick. There, 12 gauge. It's, most of your homes are 12 or 14 gauge. This is pretty thin wire, so it's probably somewhere around 18 so you should twist a little bit and then give a gentle tug. And that should be enough to take the uh, insulation off. If you want to connect these two wires, the um, best way of doing it is trying to get to twist both of them simultaneously. So kind of one over top of the other. Not just twisting one. It's a pretty good connection. To make it more permanent, we'd like to put some solder on there. Solder that up. And I might want to crimp this down a little bit on the edges. And it's kind of hard to solder this with one hand, so that's what I'm going to use my little helping hand. And these little wing nuts can tighten it if it's a little loose. All right, that's pretty good. Now, when you're using solder, you want to heat the part up that you're going to solder. So I'm going to take a, my solder here, don't need too much of it, put some heat on the connection. Actually, I should pin my little solder a little bit. There's a little bit of solder on there, shaking the excess off. If it was dirty, I'd you know, kind of give a couple swipes here on the sponge. A little more shaking. Shake away. Just put a little bit on. It's actually kind of cold from all the water. You see how fly it off. And give it a good pin job and a little extra. I'm going to want to clean that up a little bit. The smoke you see is not the lead burning. It's the stuff inside the, the, the solder to, to help clean the parts before they are joined together. It's called rosin. So actually rosin filled solder so in the middle of this this wire there's actually this material that readily burns off so that'll eventually start to burn off and I just want to heat my part here and just sort of hold it near see some of the solder is always wicking away and rather than putting the solder on the, the iron I'm going to put it on wire Oops. and it should come right off and that looks pretty good give it a second for it to cool take it off should put this back in the holder but don't burn somebody you got to watch that edge there so that's going to be hot and not too bad could have gone a little better on the other side. Um, now, the next thing I want to try to do is light bulb. This is going to be a little trickier because you have to put one connection on the bottom of the bulb and one on the side. So I'm going to rotate There, so lift that up a little bit, straighten it up. I'll use my wire here. This is the one I was using before. Try to line it up somewhat so that that will be right on the little edge. If you have a helper, someone can just hold it there. This might be easier using the uh, helping hand for this. 
So now again, when you're soldering, you want to keep the connection up and then put the solder to the connection. So I'm just going to carefully try to put, hold my pen. Wait a few seconds. Hold, quick solder, lift. And not my best effort, but that looks like a pretty good connection there. Clean up my gun a little bit, take away. Now I'm going to try to do the side. Okay, now the light bulb, here I have my setup with uh, wire coming across. I want to solder on the side of the light bulb. So I'm going to, and since the light bulb is much bigger on the base, it's going to take a little longer for the heat to make an effect on the part. So I have that so that you get a good connection on there. That's nice and hot. Soldering iron away, but that's all I need to do. Go ahead and unplug the iron and don't put it back into the container. Well, that's it. That's my uh, attempt of trying to show how to solder your light bulbs for your project.